friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing today? I'm here with some little journals. They're just small and they're kind of uh, just fun little journals that I wanted to share. I've had these in my shop for a little while, but I just redid the listings because they were all in one listing and I tried to number them and I don't know, I just don't think it went over too well. So I redid the listing and, and, and listed them all individually so that, you know, if someone wanted one, they could really see better or what they're getting. So I think that's going to work out better. But these are just super cute little, I'm calling them artsy journals. I made them out of these little, um, I kind of uh, redid a little notebook that I had gotten these little notebooks. And they're all little artsy drawings on the front. And they had plain paper in them. So I took all the plain paper out and put new paper in. So I used a lot of my book pages. I used some scrapbook paper and just made new little journals. And uh, they were not very expensive in my shop. They were $10, but actually I have them on sale right now for $8. So they're good little journals to pick up and use just for a little friend gift. Or, you know, if you're looking forward to, you know, starting to buy things for Christmas, great little stocking stuffer or just things to pass out at Christmas time at you know to all your friends or you know office workers if they they're kind of crafty or new at journaling it might be a little good little starter journal junk journal so anyway I'm just going to flip through there's eight of them I'm going to flip through them really quick because they're not the same but they're but they're similar so uh, I'll just start with this one, no particular order. They're all in my shop separately. And you can tell from the picture when you look at the listing, which one they are like this one. I think this is the only one that has bunnies on the front. So I uh, hope you can see everything okay. And these aren't in the way right now, I don't think, but just a little, I've got, I think I've got a library pocket that I made out of a book page in the front of each one with a label that somebody can write something on here, a date or a name you know, like this book belongs to, whatever, anything like that. I've got little pieces of scraps and ephemera, and right here, actually, I made two pockets. Uh, this, the library pocket is, you know, it's made out of book page, and it's got a pocket there, and then in back of it, it's actually a little pocket, too. And in here, this is a little, oh, this is just a little post-it where I numbered the uh, journal, so I don't, I guess I don't need that anymore, but I'll leave it in here, <laughs> just in case somebody wants it for something. But this is a little note I made out of just some paper that I was actually, I think this paper was from these journals. Repurposed it here into a little like journaling spot. So it says, it has a little rubber stamp on there that says hello. And then you can write inside or on the back or whatever. And use that, you can glue that in somewhere, use it for a flip out, you know, whatever any, anyone would want to do. Some little scrappy pieces of scrapbook paper there. And I'm going to try to tuck everything back in as I, I might, I might just take this one out and not take the others out. So, you know, we can save time. I've got some washi uh, tape on the edges of some of these because they were, I was kind of using up book pages with these. So I wanted to decorate a little bit, but also leave like room for people to decorate. That's why I'm including like those little scraps and things like that. It's for someone to decorate the pages. I believe these pages are all from Reader's Digest books. So, you know, there are some pictures in here. If you didn't like the picture, you could cover, cover it up with scrapbook paper. Here's a little vellum star. And, your, you know, you could cover it up with line paper or whatever you would want to, pictures, whatever you want to put in here. So, here's a, there's a vintage label, I believe, in each one. Uh, there's this is a scrapbook paper pocket with some goodies just uh let's see what do i have in here some this is a piece of an index card with a little bird on it in line so that's like a journaling card and get that back in there <laughs> another piece of uh, index card and then a little tag here made out of scrapbook or card stock with a little piece of pink lace on there and I believe all these, uh, I believe I did all these before I got my sewing machine out, possibly, because I don't think there's any sewing in here. So they were just uh, little book, using up my book pages, you know, making some cute little fun, you know, 
quick journals. You can see how they're pretty uh, washy on the edges of the page. It looks really neat on the uh, if you hold it together. You can see all the pretty colors. So in the middle I have two pockets on this one. On the strings I have two little scrapbook paper hearts there. Uh, this is another tag, cardstock tag, that can be journaled on. A little notebook here. This is made from a scrap, a scrap of a s and green stamp book. And I th think that looks really cute. And just some little papers on there that can be written on and journaled on. Or take notes or make your lists or whatever. And then two little tags over here. I was using up some scrapbook paper too, so that's what that's from. And this is a little uh, kind of a Franken tag. You can see I have book page and just some lined paper. And it's all, this one is this is sewn. So I just guess I did have my sewing machine out <laughs> at some point here. But uh, this is before I had my craft room possibly, and I didn't have my sewing machine out all the time. Here's a little lace. And uh, so yeah, that's a little Franken tag. And then here is, yeah, that tag. And then as we flip through, you can see lots of book pages. A little pocket here with some more little, you know, journaling spots or tags. This is a graph paper, made from graph paper index card. And this is made from like cardstock, like manila folder or something like that. So those are just for the person that would get that to decorate and have fun with doing something, putting strings on. That's a little tag made out of cardstock scrapbook paper. Here's a little sticker. It says, let's do it. Uh, some banners here with another little journaling spot card that says hello on the front. And a little tag here with a little uh, tuck spot and a flip up that has some blue like lace on there. I use my see I use my tiny attacher in here too. And on the back of each one, I believe I have an envelope with some more goodies. Let's see what's in this one. Another little notebook with some papers in it. And I've got like book page in here, like torn book page in, inside the front cover and the back pack cover and this is paper is sewn in and I did some rubber stamping on the front and back of that one. I've got a some vintage stamps uh, rubber stamps that I stamped in these and like on the back of the envelopes this one says confidential and I've got an index card with a tab in it. There's a little pocket in the back of that envelope. So that's the first one. Here's the back of it. They all have I think something like this on the back on the back cover. So and it's bound with, I think they're all bound with green and white baker's twine. So that's the bunnies, the bunnies over there. Now you can see why I'm calling them artsy. This is, you can just see what it is. Little girl there and just, you know, some artsy drawings there. Here, this, here's the back of that one. I think they're all like this, like I said. So I'm not gonna take the um, goodies out. You can see that there are goodies. But uh, like I said, these are all right now during uh, the time while they're on sale. You're going to be eight dollars just to you know pick up if you want to pick up something quick. That's a cute little tag there, journaling card. Uh, these are great for that. So scrapbook paper in here. I think there's more scrapbook paper in this one. See, they're, they're a little different. That's the, the, I don't think that one had a fold out like this. This one has a fold out. And they're pretty much, you know, kind of like blank journals that you can decorate and do what you want with. I've got, you know, goodies in the pockets. Here's the strings on this one. Goodies in the pockets. And I'm going, you know, of course, a little bag of goodies comes with each of my journals so you can further decorate and do what you want. Here's a little flip up here. We've got a little uh, puppy sticker here that's a B and a tag there. Here's a tuck spot on this one with a piece of scrapbook paper tag. Let's see, is it blank? It's blank on the back on that one, so you can write on the back. 
But plenty of room to write in here. Here's a little smile sticker. A little, little uh, hello memo, or not hello memo, but journaling card with the banners, tuck spot. Pretty scrapbook paper, and here's the envelope on this one. This rubber stamp says meow with a little fish bones, and there's some things in here in the pocket in the back there. Shouldn't have pulled that out. <laughs> Shouldn't have pulled that out. No, I'm not getting it back in there right now. <laughs> These things never cooperate on camera, right? <laughs> okay, so this one, not sure why, but I have a little clothespin, uh, like a so toy soldier type of thing, a nutcracker um, clothespin. It comes off, and it's I have it attached here. Don't know why, but I'm leaving it there. And this one has little dogs on the front, so it's little Archie dogs. Aren't they cute? I thought that was cute. And this one has a lot of pretty uh, washi tape on the edges. I think I was using up washi tape <laughs> in the in these two, but yeah. Ugh. So here's the front pocket with the goodies. I see I have a little washi here on this one. So there's not a pocket in back of that one, but uh, this is uh, this is vintage paper um, from these, you know, vintage Reader's Digest paper. So I might have been needing to reinforce that on this one, you know, for strength reasons and support because this is old. These are some of these pages are pretty old. But I can see these look sturdier. This one you can see is more brown. I have a little pocket here. This one is a fold, you know. So we've got lots of room there. One of the vellum stars. I think those are from Studio Calico. I was using those in these. I thought they looked neat on the book pages. And you can glue napkins on these or whatever you want to do, you know, decorate them however you want. Two pockets here with lots of goodies. I'm trying to remember not to take everything out. <laughs> I keep trying to take everything out. Here's a flip up here. Lots of room there to do what you want. I'm loving this washi tape. You are the best sticker right there. I need to do this again, use up some more of my washi tape. A little, since this one had dogs on the front, I put a little, I think I got this from one of my books, a little doggy was in one of my books and I cut him out and put him in here as a little journaling card. So he's right there, a little cutie pie, and a flip up there with a puppy sticker heart. You can see these are really cute. Here's a picture. Like I said, if you don't like the picture, <laughs> just cover it up. Uh, there's a banner here with uh, one of those Hello journaling cards. This is the envelope in back of this one. I think I did this a little different. What did I do? I've got a pocket here. Here's a piece of uh, scrap, it looks like. And then I've got a pocket back here. So I did this one a little different. Two pockets. I guess I just made two pockets. Oh, I see what it is. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is holding the flap in too. Like I said, I did these a little while ago, and I was just redoing the listings. There's some. There's a recipe card in there. Okay, so this flap fits under this this uh, paper here. There we go. And then that fits in there. Cool. <laughs> Okay, so that's the little doggy one, and I have another doggy one. So here's the two different dogs, dog artsy, artsy dogs. So let me show you the difference. This one has like a bulldog on it. See, these look like kind of like little bulldogs, and this one has like this looks like almost. I mean, kind of looks like a basset hound to me. And here's a little. What is that? A little it looks like a little elephant there, and some other like a sheep dog and. Kind of like a poodle looking dog so different dogs on these so but this is another little doggy one and let's just flip through really quick maybe a little quicker than the other ones because this one has a file folder in it i see 
I just I redid, I just listed them all separate, took all new pictures and everything. So <laughs> 10 pictures on each one. So that was what, uh, there's eight of them here. So 80 pictures I just took, <laughs> but that's okay. The Alamo, that's a pretty, really, kind of a pretty picture, even though it's a small part of it. It's really actually really pretty right there. The Vellum Star, and here's the pretty, look at the pretty washies in this one. Got some glittery and bling in there. Really sets off the pages. I like that rusticness next to the kind of really pretty uh, washi there. It's really, I think that's really neat. And let's see, what else do we have in here? Here's the pockets in the middle of this one. Here's the little banner tuck spot in this one. Let's see, book page, book page, picture, or here's the little flip up in this one with the little tiny tag. And there's a frog on this, puffy sticker frog on this flip up here. Here's a pocket with some goodies. A little piece of map and a tuck spot there. I like these pictures in this one, really pretty. Uh, let's party sticker. Here's the envelope in this one. I used my vintage office stamps on this one. It says received, copy, and draft. And there's a pocket behind there. It has that same picture on the back. Okay, that's number four. I've got four more. So here's the front of this one. And the back, you know, same pocket. Uh, some pictures. You can see the washi in this one. Really pretty. And let's see what we have here. I'm just going to try to flip to the pages that have something on it. Like here's the vellum star. Here's the pocket of goodies. A pocket of goodies. Uh, some pictures in this one. Pretty. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Here's some pretty pictures. Here's another lady here. Another pretty picture. Another pretty picture. Picture of the man. Picture there. Of a tractor. Or a bulldozer or something. The middle pockets on this one. With all their little goodies. Got some pretty lace on that one. This is a little one falling out there, trying to fall out. Okay, a pretty map. Here's a tuck spot here. It's like a ledger, ledger type looking tag. I like the title pages in the Reader's Digest too. Uh, tag with a flip up and then we're at the back there's another pretty title page horse so I'm going glittery back here here this envelope I did a little different I see I put some postage stamps on it with some postmarks got some goodies in there and a little index card with a tab there in the back uh, on the back there so that's that one let's see three more. Now this one has, I'm just going to say, this one's artsy and musical. So it's got all kind of like little musical things on it there. Uh, you know, keyboard, it looks like a harp, xylophone, all different kind of little thing, guitar, microphone, little music notes. I thought these were so cute, just really different, you know. And so here's the pocket in this one. This one has a flip out. Pretty scrapbook paper in this one. Uh, pocket with some goodies. There's a little different sized page. The vellum star in this one. Uh, scrapbook paper. The vintage label. You can see it. You can see the scrapbook paper. A little different uh, size page there. The pockets in this one has. This one has hearts on the strings. Pocket with some goodies, tuck spot, banner tuck spot, sticker that says oops, uh, flip up with a little puffy sticker cherries 
I don't know if they can see that down there, so I'll hold it up. Hopefully, you can see it this way. <laughs> a little tiny jag in there. Scrapbook paper and the back envelope. This one says confidential. And of course, there's goodies in here. Okay, two more. Okay, this one's got elephants and a little girl and a little you can see some looks like little toys and balloons and things i love the little elephants aren't they cute <laughs> they're all over they're like almost like a seek and find can you find all the little elephants <laughs> and that's the back of that one pocket here scrap of paper a pocket with a pretty tag there let's see i think i scrap of paper a fold out scrap of paper pocket here with some goodies here's a, a little flip up here with a little flower puffy sticker and a tiny tag I'll just hold that up because those little tiny puffy stickers are so small <laughs> but so cute Here's the middle of this one with a picture from the Reader's Digest pages. Pocket here. Tuck spot. Is this, uh, some of them I put flip ups in. I don't see that. I thought that was one, but it's just a scrapbook paper. Scrapbook paper. Banner tuck spot with the hello journaling card. And the envelope in the back of this one with the tuck spot behind it, and this says confidential on it. Okay. Last one. This one has uh, this one. I think I have other other all the other ones. I say artsy something artsy junk journal or something like that. This is the only one I think I have artsy elephant on it, and this has all. They look like all of these look like elephants. So I put artsy elephant. There's the back of that one. Uh, this is the book pay or the book pocket here, library pocket. You can see the scrapbook paper. This some has some like card stocky scrapbook paper in it. I see. I think I was trying to use up some of that, and my book pages. And here's a pocket with a journaling card in that one. Flip out here. Just some fun little journals when I was using up things, you know. Got to do that sometimes. Just use up your. This has a really pretty picture in the middle. Uh, I believe I have in the listing how many pages are in here. There's feels like they feel pretty thick, you know what I mean? Like, there's probably. I'm gonna, I mean, I don't know. I've I'm gonna guess there's at least 40 pages in here, and that's 80 fronts and backs. So there might be more than that, but I'm gonna guess there's at least 40 pages in here. It just feels like that, you know. Feels like at least that many. There's the flip up with a little puffy sticker flower in this one. And then we're at the back. This one has the black envelope with the flap, the piece of scrapbook paper across like the other one where the flap tucks down in there. There's a little scrap here and there's some goodies in the envelope and then that index card behind. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed those. I was just wanted to show them again since I was making the separate listings for these instead of having one listing for all of them. And I thought they rem it reminded me of how cute they are as I was taking 10 pictures of each one, you know, so, I, you know, because I was opening them up and, you know, taking pictures of the pages and everything. I'm like, oh, these are so cute. I have to show these again. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that little uh, refresher on these and like I said they're on sale right now Labor Day weekend you know everybody's having a sale so these are on sale and I think I think I have a couple other things on sale uh, what were they oh they're the little pink friendship girlfriend journals they're called I'm calling I think I either call them friend journals or girlfriend journals I might do a little refresher on those too because those are super cute so anyway I have all of those on sale that's about 
eight here, and I think there's six or seven of the, the girlfriend journals. So those are all on sale this Labor Day weekend. So, um, you know, just want to let you know, and I will see you all next time. Have a great Labor Day weekend, everybody, and happy crafting.